Good morning, or good afternoon, depending on when you're watching. This is John Gazer with Rock River Laboratory. Today we're going to go through taking a TMR or a feed sample and taking manure, corresponding manure samples for uh, an analytical test such as TMR, digestibility, uh, or fecal starch. We're going to go through that today in detail. I'm going to start this morning by taking the TMR sample. We'll show you how to accurately take a TMR sample or the best that we can. And then we're going to go through taking manure samples as well and show you how to mix and subsample those so we can get the best sample we can off to the lab. We're going to start by taking a minimum of five scoop samples from along the feed bunk. And ideally we'd like to be sampling from an undisturbed or relatively freshly delivered ration. We're going to use a hand scooping technique like this to avoid losing any fines. And we're going to uh, take about five half pound to one pound samples, put them into a bucket, mix, and then subsample from that using the mixing and quartering technique. So I'm going to go and take the five samples right now. So you see I spaced the samples out evenly throughout the bunk because sometimes there can be variation with where the TMR was delivered due to the feed mixer and whatever else. And then you can see I brushed away the top or any feed that might have been sorted or picked through by birds and got to a, we hope, uniform sample and then sampled from that. Once we get the five samples, we're going to go through the mixing and quartering technique. So I've got the five subsamples in here. I like to turn the feed over in the bucket, similar to a washing machine. Turning feed over is one of the best way, ways to mix up and make the sample uniform. Again, I'm using my hand to get down to the bottom and avoid missing any fines. Picking it up and turning it over. And then for the mixing and quartering technique, either on a piece of plastic or a spot of clean concrete, we'll go and we'll get our five samples down to a subsample of about one pound that we'll then send into the laboratory. Dump the sample out. Split the sample roughly in half. Put the sample, subsamples in half again, then discard one quarter and one quarter, so we're throwing half the sample out. So we mixed and quartered. Now we're going to put the entire subsample back in the bucket and we'll do the same thing again until our sample is small enough for a, about a one quart bag, roughly a pound. Usually about Two times mixing and quartering. If we take five hand samples, it might take three times. If we take more samples, if we have a, say a 100, 200, 300 cow pen, we might have to take five samples to accurately represent the, the, feed, the TMR from that bunk. The TMR has longer particles like this, like hay or baleage. This is a really good example. Again, when you dump everything out, be careful that we're not pulling pieces from the uh, remaining quarters that we're going to sample from. So just try and be judicious and be as representative of the TMR as possible. Again, this is why it's important to have a, a clean, relatively smooth space so we can make sure that we get all the fines and grain into the bucket. You see, nothing left. And then uh, here's going to be a sample bag. I, I pre label the sample bags with uh, your farm name and then just simply a, a TMR for a sample identification. And this is about what we have left.